instructors here at Barefoot Bushcraft. Today we're going to be learning something new and here it is. Hi, I thought today I'd show you my knife setup. At one time I didn't really believe in having a bunch of bells and whistles that come out with you into the bush, but as I went from amateur to professional and learned a whole lot more as uh, time went on, I realized how important it was to come with the right gear, but I still believe the most important part is having the right mental attitude. But with that said, you also need the tools at hand to make, it, make things simpler for you. Now, this is what I go into the bush with. Now I've got, this is for just like a day, ha day, day hike. Yes, I also have some water and some food, but this is what my knife setup is. Um, I love my little Mori knife. Some people say that they uh, are not tough enough, but I have batoned this. I've beaten the snockers out of this thing and it comes out ticking. The only thing I've got is a little bit of, uh, of wear and tear on the blade from just sharpening it. And that's not a bad thing. Now, what I did find out is that you can do a lot more with a knife. So uh, I always called these inner tube parts, but someone pointed out to me that, that, that uh, uh, once you become a professional uh, bushcrafter, they are no longer inner tube parts, they are ranger bands. So we use, I use some ranger bands to put on a nice bundle of twine for tying things down. Uh, I like the natural cordage because I can also use that for fire starting if necessary. Um, some people put in uh, uh, parachute cord or even uh, uh, polyester stuff. All of it works, but twine is always good to have. You can't have too much rope in the bush. Now I flip that down, keeps it dry, forms all the way around it. Now what I also do is I have a whistle and uh, magnesium and uh, ferro rod that are one piece. I love this little thing. I got one from a friend and I've been looking for them since and I haven't found any as nice as this. Um, I basically t put the two of them together. Uh, I start off with the string, use the button hook to go through so that it's always connected. I put that through like that and that's pretty simple. That's got it all held into one piece. It's not going anywhere, but I like to have a little more quiet when I'm walking through the bush. So what I, I do is, first of all, with the Maris, one of the problems that some people say is that the sheath sometimes lets things pop out and I've had it happen to me and a friend recommended that I just put a strap around there and it's worked beautifully since. Now with that I have these ranger straps here and I take one on this side and one on the back And then when it hooks onto my belt, which I hook through the loop, which I hook through the loop, so the belt goes through here, so it's all locked in place. It's, uh, it's a nice little, little setup that is out of the way, does the job, and I have my whistle, and I have my fire starting kit, and my knife all right at hand. Okay, this is, De this is Dean and from Barefoot Bushcraft. Be smart, be safe, and believe. <laughs>